Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here going to work on my Letter Diaries uh, journal uh, from Dreams Etc. Um, I think I'm going to bind this, and I, I need to try something that I haven't done before, so, you know, that could be interesting. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to work on this and work on um, just bringing it along a little bit further. So let's say hi and hugs first to MJ, Irene, Laura, and Billy. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments and everything. Okay, let's do this. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Of this oh but I'm gonna take out I've got a couple of things kind of sitting in here that need to need to go out oh the belly band to be in one of them I think I was gonna put that right there so I'm just gonna clip the page instead and give that a try and then back here I have this little trifold we did and thank you to those of you who told me Carol at Friendly Quail made the uh, the B one that I used as a prototype for this. So that was, yes, Carol at Friendly Quail. I do apologize, Carol. I'm so sorry. Um, her shop was new to me, so it wasn't stuck in my brain. But um, yes, so I wanted to give her acknowledgement. She has a lovely shop if you guys want to go check her out. So these are my two things that need to set aside here. Let's put a clip on this page too. <clears throat> and then we are going to, we are going to do this. What did I do with my, oh, they're over on this side. Okay. <laughs> I knew I got out my, my stuff for binding, but um, <clears throat> if you'll notice, on this as I did the you know did the slow stitch cover this is covered with lace so what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, get my strings underneath the lace so we'll see how that goes but yeah I want to get it bound so I can start putting things in it I've also decided that I am going to what's what color do we want? Hang on a sec. I think I'm, this might go better. Um, I am going to make some slow stitch pockets for the front and for the back. I decided. I thought that would be that would be fun. Um, you know, I've already got the slow stitch belly band happening. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. My thumb right here is so sore from slow stitching. Oh, I kind of overdid it this weekend, I think. But um, it was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, I, I really just did my Ann Brooke tag and I did my um, belly band. And of course, let's see, this is airing, I do believe, on Thursday. So again, I'm all I'm all goofy because of of filming ahead, but um, but I'm trying to balance my time with my hubby watching March Madness and my well, where's the end? There it is. Um, and my crafting. So. Yeah, so I'm just filming as I can, and then, and then, yeah, I think I'll just give a little extra room there just because I think I want to put some um, charms on the bottom. So this is wax linen thread. Um, I really enjoy the wax linen. Makes for a nice, tight signature. So, okay, so that's ready. So we better, we better get this ready. Okay. What I want to do is to just make sure all the pages are in a good spot. I don't 
think I have any others that I'm feeling the need to add or anything, but uh, but some you know some of these pages are a little <clears throat> shorter than others, and I do have the one that's going to be in the middle, so see that's off. There, get that down there. That's in the middle. Okay. Oh, and this is needs to be in the middle. Details, details. Yeah. So I think that's pretty good. We're decently centered. Okay, clippage. We are ready for clippage. Okay, and my little little arms on my binder clips should hold the middle piece pretty well. Whoobies. <laughs> there I go. Oh my gosh, you guys. My poor husband, I don't know what his deal was last night, but he sat up and was punching on the bed. Oh my gosh, he scared me. So, so I grabbed him and said, stop, stop, stop. I don't know what he was dreaming, but he doesn't remember it this morning, so who knows. Okay, all right. Oh, okay, now we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to go right through my, my lace. That's good. It's going to be kind of hard to see on the outside. I'm just deciding. I think I need to need to go a little deeper here so that I can catch this music pocket and I'm going to do it kind of right in the stitching so that I don't impede the pocket at all oops that moved okay well that's okay we can line it up I think oops get over on the book Gail okay Yeah, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be a tricky one, but we're going to get her done. Okay, so, okay. That was good so far. Oh, look at us. That was so good. Okay. So, got right through. So, 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 let's sew. <laughs> okay, and then what I want to do is kind of just that through and the other hole should be around there somewhere so I might come up right about here I don't know how to get it up I knew I'd be fumbly bumbly but I thought in case you guys ever run into this yourselves that you might want to see me do it if I can do it <laughs> I just I don't care if a little bit of this shows but oh for the most part okay now I need to try and find the hole where is it it's gonna be underneath my lace I thought this might be tricky so note to self, maybe you wait. Okay, let's do this. Is that what it is? Okay, okay. Let's poke it through, okay. Oh, all 
right, okay, I gotta... I'm gonna go back in. Let's take the needle off for a second. I'm still hanging on to the tail. Um, I'm just gonna pull this out. Now I know where to come up is the thing. So, okay. Going back underneath and I'm gonna come up through this little hole in the lace right here. So that makes it easier. So that's good. Okay. Okay, so it's right there. Sorry if I get at a weird angle where you can't see, but I gotta try and do this. Come on. This does not help. And come through, doggone it. I don't know, maybe this was not a good idea for a video. Where'd the hole go? Shoot. <laughs> I lost it again. Oh well, you're gonna just watch me struggle. Ooh, success. Now I'm going to put this little guy on there. Phew. Okay, that was difficult. But, you know, this thing we do, nobody said it was always going to be easy. Okay, now I'm going to go back through. Hopefully not bothering thread that I just put through. I think I'm okay. Okay, now I gotta do the same thing. So I think I'm gonna make it easier on myself and go ahead and poke this through so I can see where it's at. Okay. Now I'm gonna go under and come up right there. Okay, and then <laughs> I can see the hole better on that fabric. She says that she can't get through. Oh, success! All right. Oh boy, that was was a little tough, but. I think it was worth the effort to get it on, um, to get it under. Oops, I keep getting caught on the thread. There we go. Oh. Okay, well, I need to rest the rest of the day. Hey, but that is in there and look you can't see the thread really a little bit you can phew phew wee now wouldn't it be funny if the um no it wouldn't if the signature was upside down it's not it's all good okay oh my goodness that was ridiculous <laughs> okay here we are <sighs> we have a book we have a book okay let me put away my stuff I should mention once again I have this ratty old book but 
um, Amy at Crafty Cat sells, um, like, I think book cradles is what she calls them. So, I don't know. I haven't used one, so I don't know um, if it's easier than my little book, but I find my book just fine, and it doesn't take up a lot of room. That's, but, um, but I'm sure if you watch Amy bind a book, it goes much better. <laughs> And if I had a little more room around here, I would, I would purchase one of those. Okay, so we did that. Now we can start putting some things in it and um, seeing what else we want. I do, I do think I'm going to put like a slow stitch pocket there because that would be pretty there, wouldn't it? So, yeah. Um, I'm going to grab a Okay, I was going to look to see, because I was thinking you could almost do these um, in half, but this one I'm working on right now, it's not done yet, but the one I'm working on, yeah, it would, there'd be quite a bit you'd take off. So I'll just um, figure out some of those too. Okay, I'm a little unorganized today, can you tell? I don't know why. Okay, so this is where our belly band's gonna go. And um, like this big button and things, I do think I will be um, making a writing board for this journal because I think it's gonna need one. But I do like that right there. Okay. Okay, sleeves up, let's get... <laughs> That was my problem. That's why I struggled with sewing in the signature, guys. Look at the pack. Ugh. <laughs> not, I'm not very neat on the back. My husband is busy getting a big donation ready for our food share um, when when the pandemic first started um, he loaded up on some like soups and things like that um, just because it all felt like ah, it all felt like kind of Armageddon in a way um, and but a soup is not the best thing for him because he tends to have high blood pressure and the soup has lots of salt in it. So now that things have evened out a little bit, he's gonna take it all to food share. It'll be good for lunches and things like that for little kids or something. So that'll be good. Okay. Oh, I do love that. Okay, that's very fun. And then over here, on this page, we are putting this. So I think the easiest way might be to just kind of line that up like that and then pull this over. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna leave it there. And on there. Oh, my husband's getting the TV on. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> the basketball is starting. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm going to finish my video first. We're excited though, because let's see, it's Oregon State that um, their coach played for Mon uh, for University of Montana and so there's a little connection there you know okay now we got that on there 
Okay, let's leave that like that for a second. Okay, another thing that I wanted to do, I meant to root around a little bit and see what I had, but that's okay. We'll do it together. Um, one of the things I wanted to do, I have my little stack of, go ahead and make things. I was thinking of doing a sack like this. Let's look in my Use It Up, which has gotten completely out of control. So I need to get busy and use some things up. Um, I have this sack. It's a bit smaller, but that's okay. Could use that one. Let's just take a look, see here. Oh, here's one that's just like that. Let's use that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a few sessions with that use it up basket, I think, guys. I think I need to reconfigure my Hoosier that's over here to, um, to, to better suit my needs. I'm thinking about, in the drawers, I'm thinking about putting some stamps so I use stamps more. Okay, do you mind talking amongst yourselves while I go grab some rice paper? I'll be right back. Quick like a bunny, quick like a bunny. Oh, I have a bunny story for you guys too. Okay, I have so much rice paper, guys. This is also rather ridiculous, but I love it so much. Okay, this kind of with the uh, kind of reminds me. So we're gonna go with that. Oh goodness. Okay, so um anyway, I have a bunny story. So not yesterday morning, but the morning before I was um at the breakfast table doing comments and stuff and oh I like that part except I don't want the stamperia why do they do that it's on the packaging <laughs> um anyway I looked out and there was not one bunny but two bunnies out in my yard just sitting there. I said to Mike, it's going to be such a good day. There's bunnies. And um, yeah, so anyways, they sat there forever. I didn't want to get up because I like to watch them hop away. <laughs> and gosh, they were, they were there for a good while. Okay, so I'm going to rip this if I can kind of down from the top to the bottom. So where we want to rip here is about right there. Let's just do that. And then we'll go kind of from the top. I definitely want to get the pink flowers into it. Oh gosh, that's a Big old piece of fiber right there. Another big piece of fiber. Okay. That is fine. Okay, let's see. Um, need a couple of pieces of paper to glue on. So yeah, that made me real happy to see those little guys. Okay, so right about there. up a storm here.
yeah so anyway that made me happy to see those little guys they are they are so um camouflaged it's just in some ways it's a little hard to pick them up out there but yeah i did got to see them okay so what i was thinking is taking one of my ladies here i have all these all the paper dolls I was thinking of maybe one of these on there. Ooh, could she be good? Mm, I don't know. I feel like I want, I, I feel like I cut that too small. Maybe I'll put like a piece in that corner too. that much glassine showing. I couldn't decide that while I had my glue at the ready and everything. Okay, well that's going to be an odd shape, but we'll just kind of go for it here and see what we can do. did good. Okay. So I have, I have a couple of little, um, bunny statues out in my yard and you're like, of course she does. Anyway, it's just so funny because the bunnies come and they're kind of right by those statues. It's kind of like, do they know that they're not real? <laughs> Oh yeah, I like that better. Would it be okay to cut off her train just a little bit? Maybe so. Okay, I like her the best so far. She's too big. Oh, she's very cute. Okay, hmm. like that better, and then with some lace, maybe. Hmm. Lady's too tall. So is this one. Ladies are too tall. How about this one? Hers is just tall and skinny. Hmm. This one was okay. I'm gonna gonna go with her but she maybe I want to put lace here but I could put it behind her right let's just make sure that there isn't somebody else that ooh she's rather nice 
I don't have this, but could I use one of the ruffles? Oops, I gotta grab them. Because I had all those little bits left. What would I do with them? Just went over to Mix Media Minnesota and bought some more because. Oh, they're still on my table. Gosh, I'm a goof. That's when you know you got you got's just too much stuff a going on. this better. There's this one. Ooh, that's nice. I think I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do something like this right here. I think. Um. See what I have in my journey of crafting. Little I'm entirely loving my little piece up here. I might just use that one. And then I'll put a little pink dighty bone in there. And or crystal or whatever you want to call it. I call it a dighty bone after my little granddaughter. Who's not little anymore. Okay, so we're moving right along. Let's see, do we want any stamps or anything? Kind of like that too. Okay, well, Thank you for hanging in there with me and playing and crafting. I don't know. I'm just, as I said earlier, I'm just really taking my time with this one and making some stuff along the way. I have a lot of pre-made stuff too. And we have some stuff that I think we can just adapt. So, but I will be doing, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, I will be doing, a, um, oh gosh, Gail, take the lid off, a uh, project for Blue Fern Studios. Sorry, I was, I can't. I can't ink and think at the same time, even though that's what I try to do. Okay, so let's take these off. I want to grungy up my sack a little bit. Not that a whole lot of it is showing, but some of it is. Let's do this. Who did I learn this from? Corey. If it was you, Corey, thank you put that on things that are kind of bendy. Put a piece of cardstock behind when you're trying to ink them. Genius. My friend Corey is a genius. 
we're lucky that she's teaching our children. <laughs> Hi, Corey. She's so great. Okay, now I also think it's going to... Okay, that makes me happier. We don't have the white showing. All right, so I think you are going to go there. Let me put this back on so I can kind of measure-ish. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put that like that. Okay, um, we should be good with this glue because um, we're gluing onto the rice paper. Sometimes with the um, glassine, I like to use fabric tack, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, and then let's put our lady on. We will use Fabri-Tac for the ruffle, however. I think I need to decide on my size and get some fabrics out and figure out uh, the pockets. I don't know if I, I don't think I better do any slow stitching today though because uh, how oh God, didn't get that quite down where I wanted it but it's close enough um, because my hands really sore from yesterday the spirits willing and the body is weak okay so a little I just wanted to see where we're at. About 20 minutes, so about 20 till. Okay, so I'm gonna just glue this up. I mean, seriously, that is like nearly the right size. Not quite. Things over a little bit, but which we can cut off. But yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then I think what I'll do is just go on here with the glue for this guy. Like that. Okay, and then yeah, grab this. Nope, not purple. Where's the pink? I need to use them all day. Oh, there they are. go yay I'm happy with that I'm telling you with Jen's designs you can't go wrong I mean really okay so I got glue on my desk which I which drives me crazy you guys know I hate that okay 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 okay, okay. let's do this okay so this can go back into filing and we have this already. Oh my gosh, I love that. That turned out great. Should I get it up here to you? Right? That's so cute. Okay, so now I guess I'll keep these here.
case I need them. Um, let's look at what else we, we have some stuff over here to be genified. Let's call it that. They need to be genified. Yeah, I thought these would work in here color wise, but they need, they need something. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, isn't she pretty on there? she could be on there this is just a little writing spot but I have this on my desk I think I need to grungy that up a little bit because um, it just looks too bright against this really muted background. But easy to do. Just give this a little makeup, a little makeup all over the top of it. Just grungy it down a bit. Nope, don't like it. <laughs> so I don't know that I have anything small enough for just over here with you guys so you can see what I'm doing kind of oh here's a little lady oh look at how that just frames her out oh that's good that's good okay oh I have an idea I don't know you know I have these they're cards but I could also you know do that but that's too big that's not gonna work um, these are going the wrong way all of them okay okay well I don't know. I'll either use this as is or not use it, probably. Okay, but these two, I feel like I can make make them into what I want to do here. Um, I'm thinking I might do the Victorian velvet on this little lady here. Oh, I really like that. I might just uh, have some tea dye in one of these little ones. Yeah, I'm just going to do this and it'll just kind of outline her. But I want to preserve the pink, but I don't want her to covering up this nice lace, but sometimes one must sacrifice. Don't know. Oh yeah, a little bit of it shows behind her. And then I was wondering, we have these little tabs from Jen. Yeah, let's do one of those. Okay, I didn't finish cutting it because I thought it'd be easier 
to just do it this way. Okay, where's my, there it is. fabric stuck on there. fabric tack on the scissors. Oh. It's messy business. This crafting. Okay. There we go. All right. Fabric. <laughs> Um, boy, I think I need to do this around the tag, too. I like the green, but it needs a little framing, too. Okay. and use vintage photo on this just because my I have my applicator right here oh my gosh that's so pretty um distressed okay and then I'll put that up there all right getting a few things done on this well I'm happy to have it all sewn in because I was I thought about that yesterday like right before I went to sleep of course and I was like oh but I want I want the thread underneath um, underneath the lace that I've already put on it so okay this um, yeah maybe I'll be safe and put fabric tack on it since it's over the lace. honey okay and then I feel like I'm just gonna look in my basket here got these little tiny things here Yep, I'm going to put that right there. And then that tag will be done. we go. That one's done. I'll show you up close. So that was one that um, was, you know, just collaged and had some lace on it and we just made it go with this digital. So that's cool. Okay, this as well is going to do, is going to do that once we, once we get it just right. 
Oh, I like the number two stamp there, but yeah, these came, I think, in an Etsy share or something, and I didn't, I didn't make the base, but we're going to make it in to something that goes with what we're doing here. Okay. Okay. Hope I like her over here because I want to see that little bit of pink there. We might put that right there. Okay, that's going to be quick and easy. Okay, there she is. I think I did a good enough job of cutting that out. I don't even have to distress it. How's that? Okay, then this just gonna go on top of that other little label. Okay, and then that one is ready. So then the only thing I have left is I was thinking this little pocket, it's got all sorts of fun things in it. I got this years ago on Etsy and um, the gal doesn't sell them anymore. I've gone back to her shop and she just doesn't sell them anymore, but it's just stuffed with all kinds of fun things. But what I was wondering is if we could put something here that would have it bring it more into what we're doing here. Um, my other thought is I have these. If there's something I could run across there, kind of cover up how pink that is, I could do that. Kind of shows up better. Okay, I think I kind of like that. Um, what about this? Nope. Like that okay that was a good stroke of business I'm really liking having all this stuff in this tray so I can easily get to it okay I'm gonna cut it right there on that line that makes it super easy I didn't have to cut her so that's happy
put a word or something on there. How did I fit this? I think it was kind of like that. I kind of like the red on the other side, though. Could we do that? Yes, we could. We might have to take a little off. Okay, that's going to be the top. Get all these little pokies properly glued down. Oh, just fits. Okay. Oh, I like that. And then do we have something in a little we could add on to that? Don't really. I'm looking here for a word. Got a couple minutes. So I'm going to Vintage 717 for the words. Elegant. That's what this kit is to me. Yes. Let me put that right there. Thank you, Jolene, at A Jewel Design. What did I say? Vintage Studio 717? Probably. A Jewel Design. A Jewel Design. And if you didn't hear me the first two times, A Jewel Design. <laughs> there and then this one's ready to go too yay so we'll have everything remade not that we won't make something specific that we need along the way okay but that's great okay so let's just look at what we did besides sewing in the signature we got this one remade so that it goes better with this kit. Got this one. This little lady. This little parasol lady. And this movie star looking lady. So there we go. That's a little work on our Letter Diaries journal. Thanks so much for crafting with me. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.